back in the kitchen now with mixologist Brett Butler. Okay, Valentine's Day. Yes. It's coming up. It it's is. upon us, right? Next, and and yep. I love cocktails that perhaps we can have some fun with, get in the spirit yeah. of the holiday, but maybe make it home Absolutely. ourselves. Are, are these not too difficult? No, I mean, it's kind of with the liqueur, it's a little... So certain things you have yeah, to have, right. But listen, you can, there's a lot of things you probably have at home, like strawberries, herbs, this is fresh thyme. So yes. kind of whatever you have at home, you can make yummy. Make a little it bit yummy. Of make it yummy with a little bit of science. Okay, I'm going to yes. let you take over and be my teacher. Sounds good. Okay. And show me what we're doing and what all goes into it. Great. So this cocktail, Valentine's, is called the Mighty yes. Aphrodite. So, Honey, Aphrodite. I the like goodness of love, yes. beauty, passion. So this cocktail's got a lot to live up to, okay. basically. So we're going to start with some fresh strawberries. I so usually about two to three strawberries. Love strawberries, packed with flavor. Yeah. So dice them, throw them in your mixing tin. Then we got some fresh thyme. Now thyme is something you don't need a lot of because it's very Ooh, strong, powerful. woody, okay. earthy. So just like two sprigs of that. And then we're going to come over here and grab our lemon juice. Lemon so juice. lemon juice, we're going to do about one ounce pour of that. And then to kind of uh, balance that out, you got to have something sweet if you have some citrus. So this well, is well. Now a, this is it too. The stuff to remember because there there is that sciencey stuff that goes into this, right? Because exactly. it's all about that balance, it counteracting is. things that might have too much of something. Yes. Yeah. You don't want it to be like too citrusy, too lemony. So okay. this is a vanilla mandarin syrup that I, well, I that make a home delicious. homemade. Oh, you yeah. make this one. Yeah, so I do a lot of mm. cocktail elixirs. Okay, homemade, you're an um, experimenter. Mixers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I always love vanilla. Yeah. I mean, vanilla oh, goes me great. I love anything. vanilla, I feel like everything. Yes. So we're going to do about a half ounce of this, not too much. Some of the liqueur is going to do the work. Okay. So it's just enough to get the flavor of the mandarin, the vanilla. So you've got citrus in there. Now, once you have all that in there, then we're going to start doing some work. We're going to muddle, muddle, as they say, That's all of these word. ingredients. Let's so what you're doing. It. Yep. So really what the idea is with muddling is you're mashing all this up. You're trying to extract yeah. as much flavor as possible from the strawberries, the thyme, and the juice is going to help do that. Okay. So once we have all that, then we're going to add our alcohol. Okay. So we have, uh, we're going to do a half ounce of rhubarb liqueur. See, this is interesting because I have some of this at home and I was never sure really what to do with it. So now I have an idea. Exactly. Rhubarb's very powerful. So it comes out like it's, it's very um, sour, right? It's a very strong okay. vegetable. So it's best mixed with something and adding mm -hmm. sweet to that. So you're balancing that. All right. So liqueur, yeah, rhubarb liqueur is great. This is a little elderflower liqueur. St. Germain makes the best. So Ooh. It, there's about a thousand elderflowers in this bottle. It's wow. a painstaking process that they do in France every year to make this amazing liqueur. So this is kind of like a mixologist's best friend. Okay. Um, St. Germain goes amazing. It, it tastes sort of like it has a little pear, grapefruit, a little bit of peach, and yeah. I find a little bit of honey. So it's just an amazing, sweet floral fruity liqueur. I love it. So Sounds we got delicious. the rhubarb and the St. Germain's just kind of balanced out. Okay. And then lastly, the main spirit, gin. Now this is Hard Truth Hills gin. I love everything they do. They make amazing spirits. Um, so what I did was I took some rose petals, dried rose petals, and I infused it in this gin. What? So Valentine's, you got to have That's some so rose pretty. in something. So basically, I just dropped some of these rose petals in the gin, left it overnight, okay. drain it, and then you have a really nice oh. floral rose gin. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. So we're going to do two ounces here. Okay. Boom. Got all that in there. All right. Come over. We're going to ice it up. Ice it up and shimmy and shake, right? And you got it. And I bet it's going to be this. Part. I always look forward to the color, but I'm like, the seven, that has to be this pretty yeah. pinky red color for sure. That That's such a good sound. Um. And how impressive if you are um, your spouse, your date. Oh, see, I knew it was going to be that pretty pink color yeah, if they made this for really you. It's nice so impressive, yeah. especially with the garnish and the lemon. That's so pretty. And there's so many flavors going on here, so it really tastes amazing. Now, I'm all about smell as well. So what I do is I have some <gasps> elderflower what? mist. So what you do is you kind of spray the touches. elderflower you mist guys. right here. So right when you drink it, you're going to smell it. It's like wine. Yes. Okay. Well, we have to wrap this up. Yep. Gosh darn it. I hate that. But we have more coming up from you here in just a little bit. Anessa, another Valentine's Day cocktail. I'm sure this is delicious. I'm going to have to sneak a little drink here. On over to you. <laughs> Amber, that was like science, history, and art. Everything <laughs> all coming together, right?